How to draw a galaxy inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dia Graphics. So the first thing we want to do is activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Then select the line tool and draw a line that is four squares tall. Make the stroke wider. I will do 25 points. Go to the stroke menu, go to the profile and select this profile right here. Now exit the stroke menu and while still having the stroke selected, go to effects, go to distort and transform and select twist. And in this input field right here, type in 400 and click OK. Now go to the selection tool and select this shape, then go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Then with this copy selected, hold down the shift key and rotate the copy 90 degrees. So now, if you're not happy with the stroke width, you can adjust this right now. I will keep 25 points. When you're happy with the width of the strokes, select both shapes, go to Object and go to Expand Appearance. So now the objects are shapes instead of strokes, but they are still two separated shapes and we want it to be only one shape. So select both shapes, go to the Pathfinder menu. If your Pathfinder menu isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder menu right here. Now go down to the Pathfinder menu and click this button right here that says Unite. And now the shapes are combined and turned into only one shape. So now to color the shape, let's zoom into the shape a little bit. So there's a lot of ways to color this galaxy depending on which effect you want. But as this is the fifth video in my Outer Space series, I will keep the same flat design style in this video. This means I will avoid using gradients. But after doing this technique, I will be doing the gradient as well. So to do the flat design coloring, we need to split up the galaxy into different shapes that can be colored separately. So go to the ellipse tool, go to the middle of the galaxy, hold down the Alt key and the Shift key and draw a perfect circle like this. Now while having the circle selected, make it a stroke instead of fill. Then select the stroke and give the stroke a horrible color that simply stands out from the rest of the drawing. Make the stroke a little bit wider so it's easier to see. Now while still having the circle selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Then go to the selection tool and make this copy a little bit wider while holding down the Alt key and the Shift key. Now once again, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Make this copy even wider. Now select the galaxy and the rings and go down to the Pathfinder menu once again. But this time select this icon right here that says Divide. Then right click the galaxy and click Ungroup. So now the galaxy is divided into a lot of shapes. And the reason why we chose this horrible color is because we need to delete these extra objects and now it's easy to see. So simply select all these green shapes and delete them. And also these small ones in the middle. So zoom into the galaxy. Now zoom out again. So now if we pick the selection tool, we can start coloring the galaxy. So select the middle part, select fill and choose a white color. Then select the next ring, choose a light yellow color, choose the next shapes and here you'll have to select them all with the shift key and select the purple color. And for the last ones, select the outer ring and select the blue color. When we are done coloring the galaxy, we need to rotate it. So select the entire galaxy, right click the galaxy and click group. Then go to effect, go to distort and transform and go to transform. Now in scale, go to vertical and type in 50%. Then go to angle and type in minus 20. Click OK. When you're done with the entire galaxy, go to object and go to expand appearance once again. Now if you want to use gradients instead, you don't need to separate the galaxy into rings. So let's go back to before we separated the galaxy. So here I have the galaxy in one shape. So if you want to use a gradient instead of the flat design, simply click this button right here that says gradient. Go to the gradient tool and adjust this slider so the left side starts inside the middle of the galaxy. And the right side of the slider or this little square right here should go to the end of the galaxy. Now go to the gradient menu. If it isn't open, you can find this in the window menu as well. Go to type, then go to radial 
and now we simply need to use the same colors to create our gradient. So the first one is the white color, which is here already. The second one is the yellow color. The third one is the purple. And the last one is the blue color. Now drag the purple slider into the middle. Drag the blue color a little bit out. And drag this white slider right here a little bit to the right. Now we simply need to rotate this galaxy as well. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.